Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are discussing Pantone's color of the year. Every year, going on three years in just a couple of days, I have done a video based on this color that is chosen and for this year it is Peach Fuzz. It says on the Pantone website that Peach Fuzz captures our desire to nurture ourselves and others. It's a velvety, gentle peach tone whose all-embracing spirit enriches mind, body, and soul. So this is the color of the year. I am accepting a challenge from the beauty creator Steph's Beauty Stash. I will, of course, tag her channel. And what she did was that she challenged herself to put an entire face of peach colored makeup on. So I have a lot of fun things in front of me that are in that peachy, orangey, nudie type of range, and I thought it sounded like fun. So if that sounds fun to you, just keep watching. I always keep a cloth in front of me. Does it count that this is peachy as well? <laughs> and the sweater, and I grabbed my units brushes which are some of my very favorite brushes from beautylish i will list them below what have i done already i put some of my shop miss a this is the dual brow definer on i have mine in dark brown it's got a thicker side and a thinner side i couldn't find a peach primer for my eyeshadow so i stuck to what i love which is my ulta matte eyeshadow primer and then for my face primer, I have one that I have not used in a while. This is the Ren Clean Primer. This might be the most expensive primer in my stash, and I like it. I don't know if I, I think it's around $50, $50 like it, but it's peach looking, and it's on my face today. Another prep item that I wanted to grab is my LYS Speak Love. This is their lip oil. These are very nice. For my eye look, I grabbed this one that I had in my stash from Viseart. This is the Mini Pro in Apricotine. It's got some really pretty peachy shades inside. These are the cutest little palettes. Viseart has a beautiful formula. I'm going to use my Units 309 brush and I'll go into this peachy tone right here and just take that all in the crease i have not worn a peachy look in quite a while i'm looking forward to this i've just been so into the cool tones lately my warmer tones have been neglected there is a nice structure i'll take the units 310 which is like a little pencil brush and I'm going to go into this deeper brown shade just for that outer corner definition. I'm staying right under the crease and just dragging it up. Taking my time. Very nice. Going back in with that original brush and just blending those edges right back into that peach shade. And now for the lid, I believe this shimmer is going to be a little too coppery, but I think this one right here is where I want to be. Yes, there's the peach. I'm going to go into this 308 and right back into that peachy shimmer, and I'm just going to go into that top area of my lid to make sure that there's complete coverage and then same brush into that original peachy shade and going underneath. I'll take the 310 pencil brush and just deepen up that outer corner bottom just a little bit. And then the biggest brush is the 307. I'm going to go into this sort of creamy shade and just run over the top. 
align my eyes with my Nabla Cupid's Arrow that I just got in my BoxyCharm. I am enjoying this. I did not take the liner into my waterline because I have a peachy liner to use, which if you saw my BoxyCharm video, I kind of broke the rules and put a lip liner in my waterline and I'm gonna do it again today. I have this lip liner from LA Girl and the shade is Forever Bare and I don't wear it on my lips very much because it's very, very peachy. So I thought, let me get some use out of this product and I'll put it in my waterline. Very subtle and pretty. Mascara, we went a little more on the nude side. This is my Rare Beauty. I believe it's called Perfect Strokes. I love this mascara. It is in my stash currently. I have not given it enough love. This is my third one, I believe. Now, the first one was a baby, but it's a good one. I had mentioned a few weeks ago that I was starting a new eating program for January, and it is the Whole30 program. Comment below if you've ever done it. I am mostly following the rules. You're not allowed to have any dairy or any sugar or any artificial sugar, basically nothing processed. So I've been eating a lot of fruits and vegetables and meats, and it's been a challenge, but I'm proud of myself. Today, the day I'm filming this, is day 10, and I am down 10 pounds, if you can believe that. So I don't know if it's gonna continue. I have at least 15 more pounds to lose. I highly doubt that's gonna happen before the end of the month, but I'm curious what I'm gonna do. I'm just not used to being able to eat fruits at my leisure. I've always been a low carb kind of gal, but it was crazy eating a baked potato with dinner last night. I can't have butter, because that's considered dairy, but I'm having ghee which I don't love, but it's not terrible. Did any of you make resolutions for the year? Share below. I'll go ahead and take off the LYS lip oil because I'll be using foundation next. Lips feel nice. And for foundation, I have my CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Foundation. I enjoy this one. And of course, I will have all the shades and names and links for everything that I'm using today. Some may be affiliate links, so if you use them, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I think this foundation might be a little light for me. It's good. I don't need to use any additional coverage on my problem areas. It's a nice foundation. I do have the e.l.f corrector. This is in the peach shade. Shocking. Haha. <laughs> I'm going to use a little bit of this under my eyes. It can help if you really struggle from dark circles. I've been really liking to follow up good with my finger after concealer. It really seems to help it smooth that warmth of the finger. There we go. I have my Juvia's Place concealer to use this lovely little peach top. Mine, I have two shades of this, but the one I'm gonna use today is the shade 19. It is a full coverage concealer. Sometimes I struggle with it being a little dry, but like I said, I have um, really been enjoying that Kiehl's eye cream and it found that it really makes a difference when your eyes are truly properly moisturized and being careful of the powders underneath. I have really gotten pickier and pickier with my powders. On the peachy nudie side, I grabbed my ColourPop. This is their stick bronzer. I have mine in the shade Laguna Beach. I had so much fun digging through my drawers looking for peach stuff. I really did. I should have taken a picture of what my arms looked like before I jumped in the shower because I was covered in swatches. <laughs> it was fun. This is a nice neutral leaning cool tone, this Laguna Beach. It's a nice bronzer stick. I'm just sort of stamping it in. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. Isn't that nice? 
I'm gonna set my eyes with my pretty peach powder from Skin Food. This is on the Stalvana website, and this, I believe, is less than $10. I love the little peach symbol, and I love even more uh, the smell of this powder. I have not used this in a hot minute, but I did travel with it at the beach because it's just so little and it's light enough for me to use under my eyes. And then I just take the excess and go through my T-zone. And oh, I wish you could smell what I smell right now. It is just the loveliest peach dessert. I don't wanna stop. No peachy brow gel, but I'm gonna put a little bit of my e.l.f. brow lift into these brows. They're looking a little sad after that powder. In the blush category, I grabbed this one from She Glam. This is their Color Bloom Day Glow Liquid Blush. This is in the shade Float On, and it is just a pretty peachy shade. I love these little applicators. They are just the perfect pigmentation, not too strong. You don't have to work at a lightning speed to blend them in. And they are affordable. I have this one and then I have a pinkier shade. But, oh, isn't this the perfect peach? I feel very fresh. I'll go ahead and add some of the Rare Beauty Mascara on my bottom lashes. The lip liner I grabbed is this one from Noreen Beauty. I cannot see the name, but I believe it is Whiskey. And it is just a nice, slightly deeper peachy color than the LA Girl. Deep peach, orangey brown, whatever you want to call it. And the lipstick, I went to Juvia's Place for a nice peachy lipstick. I love Juvia's Place matte formula lipstick. This is the Nubian Sand lip color and just the detail on that is so pretty and the shade is just the prettiest peach look at that so nice dries down lasts a long time if you are a matte girl this formula is a good one but for today i'm gonna add some gloss just to juice up the lips and this is the this is milky lip gloss in the shade caramel shake wanted me to swatch that so you can see what it looks like it does have a good amount of pigment I'm gonna add a little bit of my elf setting spray because I like this look and I want it to last and here's the finished look how did I do am I peachy did I do you right Pantone what do you think Steph from Steph's beauty stash I hope that you all enjoyed this it was fun I feel very fresh and bright and ready for spring. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave. I upload on Mondays and Saturdays. Give the video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And of course, I'd love to speak to you in the comments. What is your favorite peach product? What do you think about Pantone's color of the year? I want to hear all about it. Have a fabulous day. I'll see you in the next one.